A last chance for Papakostas of Greece, the Greek record holder, the Greek champion, and a man of whom there is a lot of expectation from this crowd. This is not the final of the high jump, but as far as this guy is concerned, and the crowd are concerned, it may as well be. Because if he fails this height, he won't make it through to the final. And he actually is, on paper, a medal prospect. <laughs> Listen to that crowd. Papa Costas has made it. He finished sixth in the Olympic final last year. He was a new name then. And he certainly is a big talent in this event. So Greece has a high jumper in the final. So the atmosphere on Wednesday is going to be electric. Very tall man, very rangy, and a fine piece of jumping. So we can now tidy up the situation over who has and who has not qualified for the final. Olympic civil medalist Arthur Partika leads the way, along with Great Britain's Dalton Grant. Good news for him, and as Christina Boxer said, well done for reaching yet another major final. There'll be, an, there'll be another page here, Steiner Hohen at the top of that page, the European champion. Charles Austin, uh, the Olympic champion, despite the fact he didn't automatically qualify, was one of a group of people who cleared 226, along with Steve Smith of Great Britain, who we hope is not in too much pain as a result of what he's done today. But the Olympic bronze medalist, the British record holder, is through to the final. Unfortunately, just below him, Brendan Riley is not.